Okay, we have arrived at the O2 in London. We're first alternates, so we had to get here today because uh, obviously matches tomorrow, and we need to do the testing and get the results back and stuff to make sure that we're uh, eligible to play. So um, we do that. Obviously, uh, it was disappointing, I guess, in the end to not be able to qualify, especially being the last year in uh, in London and to come so close. I think we basically tied on points with uh, with Kubot Mello. Um, but they played less tournaments than us through the year, so so they got priority. Um, so yeah, I mean, basically, if we managed to win one more match, which you know we had plenty of opportunities to do in the end, we would have uh, would have made it. Um, but sadly, not to be. But uh, we'll be here and ready for action if uh, if we get the call up. going to be a tough week mentally being here because uh, obviously desperate to desperate to have been a part of it experienced it I think five times the last uh, well five times in a row I didn't play last year because split up with Bruno midway through the year um, yeah and then knowing it's the last year to not be not be taking part um, you know and also the fact that you know, basically quarantining for a week to watch everyone else go on court and and compete in the biggest tournament that the that the tour has. Um, that's kind of tough, especially when basically been on the road since August August six, and my house is about forty minutes from here. So uh, I think that's going to be a, could be a difficult difficult week in store. <laughs> probably say a few words about uh, winning our first team title in in Sofia obviously it was last week of the year so um, good good a week as any to to get our first title obviously it's strange circumstances to do it because um, you know the whole week we've been fighting to uh, qualify for the O2 and then we got to the final and uh, Jurgen and Eddie won their semis to basically qualify for the tour finals and then they pulled out um, which was understandable because basically they would have to play on Sunday or Monday and uh, there was no flights from uh, Sofia on Saturday except at uh, 6 in the morning so uh, they basically pulled the pin uh, which I'm sure was frustrating for the tournament but um, you know I think probably I would have done the same thing if I was in if I was in their shoes, but uh, you know, we got a title at the end of it. Uh, been a strange year, a um, few ups and downs, obviously, big break in the middle. Um, but yeah, nice to finish the, the season with a bit of uh, a bit of momentum, and uh, hopefully take that forward into uh, into 2021.